The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve disciples, apostles, are this. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon from Cana, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost ship of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. There are two well-known seas in the Holy Land or, or Israel, the Sea of Galilee and the Dead Sea. Both seas, which are actually lakes, receive water from the same source, from the same river, the Jordan River. The Sea of Galilee, however, is a fresh water lake with fish and other forms of sea life. Whereas the Dead Sea is super concentrated salt water and cannot support any living organism. That is why it is called Dead, dead Sea. But if these two seas, the Sea of Galilee and the Dead Sea, are fed by the same river, the Jordan River, how come that the Sea of Galilee is alive and life-giving and the Dead Sea is really dead? The reason given is that the Sea of Galilee has an outlet for letting out water, while the Dead Sea does not have such outlet. Except, or in other words, the Sea of Galilee receives water, receives and gives out water continually. While the Dead Sea receives water and does not give out except through evaporation. And so the Dead Sea is a stagnant water. Brothers and sisters, like these two seas, it is in receiving and giving that we are alive or that keeps us alive and life-giving. Receiving without giving renders us stagnant and dead because it is our nature to receive and give and to receive and without giving, we will eventually die. Take for instance, if we take air and does not give away the air from our lungs, we will eventually die. When we take in food without 
eliminating the waste, we will die. That giving is part of living. It is our nature to receive and to give. In today's gospel, Jesus teaches his disciples. He is preparing them for a mission and he is trying to convince them that they must be willing to give back some of what they have received. His words to them are, without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. That me, missionary generosity, that is the giving of oneself, the giving of one's time, treasure, resources, service, for the sake of God's kingdom can only become possible when we realize that all we are and all we have, including life itself, is God's gift. That is why St. Paul, in the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 7, he said, What do we have that we did not receive? And being a Christian is in fact a life of conscious receiving and giving back to God. Unfortunately, we often pay much more attention on receiving than giving. But as children of God, we receive the gift of faith, we receive the word of God, we receive forgiveness, we receive the sacraments, we receive new life in the Spirit. And we can only continue, we can only complete this circuit of God's grace when we also go out and share the same blessings to those who do not as have yet. If we fail to do this, we will become like the Dead Sea, stagnant and dead, because it only receives and does not give. 